Another downside to undisputed super middleweight Canelo Alvarez out of Guadalajara, Mexico, fighting Dimitri Bivo this weekend is he's holding the super middleweight belts hostage whilst fighting in a completely different division. That's what I'll talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, y'all know what to do. Now, I had to talk about this. Some people may be excited for the Canelo Bevel. Me, I feel like the promotion has been down. I haven't really heard much from it. We're literally days away and it's just, it just feels like nothing, you know. Maybe that'll change at the weigh-in, but that's just my vibes. I asked you guys on Twitter, follow me at Boxing Ego, how you feel about the fight week, and it just doesn't feel like anything legendary. I remember Errol Spence Jr. fight week when he was fighting Ugas last month. Everybody was talking. I, I literally did a video about Errol Spence Jr. and his choice of shoes, the Black Air Forces, and it went viral. It went viral. Everybody was talking, everybody, you know, Texas, it looked like had a great crowd for the fight, etc. But, you know, we'll see how it all plays out. But let me talk about what you guys seen in the title. The biggest issue that I have with the fight is Dimitri Bevel. He's he's a crafty fighter at his best, but his last couple of performances, he fought on co-features and he didn't really necessarily look that good. So he's going to have to put together something really special to beat Canelo based on and given how he looked in his last couple of fights. And the sad thing is Canelo has a pattern of doing this. When Bevo was calling him out years ago and even said, I'll come to 168, he's been undefeated. He's still undefeated, but he has some better performances in there. And the whole, the, all those years, Bevo was calling out Canelo he didn't get the call and then after Bevo had sus performances in his last couple of fights and and not big fights like he didn't fight Jean Pascal or Joe Smith Jr. one of the better names you know what matter of fact let me know and you, I mean you can lie to me but you're just lying to yourself tell me Joe Smith or excuse me Dimitri Bevo's last two fights if you guys know offhand without looking it up, anybody can look it up. Tell me who Dimitri Bevo fought in his last two fights since everybody knows him. But beyond all this, the biggest issue I have is that Canelo Alvarez just fought in November against Caleb Plant, stopped him. Solid fight. He has a very good buildup on Showtime. It did almost a million eight hundred thousand. And then he runs back to DAZN, a platform not many people have the same platform that told you that pay-per-view was dead and now they're coming out with pay-per-view and more importantly as you see in the title canelo alvarez is holding up all the belts and i don't think that's right for anthony Durrell or keyron davis of course david benavidez david lemieux david benavidez and lemieux are currently fighting for an eliminator and we know that especially if david benavidez wins canelo is not planning on fighting him in his next fight even if he gets past Bevo so it's like what is this for and the sanctioning bodies allow Canelo especially the WBC we back Canelo they've changed the level of Clem Buterol after Canelo and five other Mexican fighters failed uh Julio Cesar Martinez I think it was Ray Vargas Canelo and different fighters and then now they said oh Clem Buterol is tainted meat so we're gonna have to change the the amount you can have in your system etc so Canelo's belts are just sitting somewhere and nothing in the division can move at super middleweight. Caleb Plant, he can't like fight David Benavidez for a belt because Canelo has all of them, right? And he has all the belts only to not fight as undisputed in that division. And I think that's disrespectful to the sport of boxing. Same thing with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury wants to play games and he's beaten Deontay Wilder in the third fight. He beat Dillian White. And now he's saying he's retired and he wants to retire. You should, the moment you utter the words, I'm retired and I'm retiring right now and I'm done and I'm hanging it up and I'm just doing exhibitions. You should immediately that day be stripped because it's inconvenient. Let Usyk Joshua or actually it would really go to Wilder and whoever else they have ranked. Let Wilder and somebody else fight for the belt. Otto Weiland or Andy Ruiz or whoever. 
You know what I mean? But these are the games and the politics that we see in the sport of boxing. Tyson Fury, he's part of the secret society and old media, apparently. So he could say he's retired and mull it over and think about it all while holding the WBC belt and the lineal title or whatever he's talking about, holding it up just like Canelo's doing. Canelo can go win undisputed and then like you've already done that. Your undisputed is set in history. Figure out what you're going to do next. Like when Usyk became undisputed, he fought Tony Bellew at cruiserweight for undisputed and he ended up knocking him out. So props to Usyk. So he fought a, a quality ranked at the time cruiserweight in Tony Bellew, who had just beaten David Hay at, he at heavyweight. Right. So that was a good, credible fight in the UK. And he fought and defended those titles. As soon as he knocked out Tony Bellew and decided he was moving to heavyweight, the titles were gone, you know, and that's how it should be. Same thing with Terrence Bud Crawford. Shout out to him. Terrence Crawford beat Julius Ndongo. I was there in Lincoln, Nebraska, knocked him out in the third round or whatever it was with a body shot. And he became undisputed, did the damn thing and left 140 and he left all the titles behind. That's why guys like Josh Taylor and Regis Progre begin able to fight for the titles because he created that vacancy from Terrence Crawford. But there's no vacancy with the titles with Canelo because the world of boxing lets him trump uh, trot around and, and kind of do whatever he wants. So now he's fighting with Bevo and then we don't even know what he's going to do next. Like, let's say he gets past Bevo. Rumor has it, and the reports have it, that he wants to fight Triple G. So look what that does to the super middleweight division. Triple G is not a credible 168 pounder. Triple G has definitely seen better days. He didn't even look good versus Ryota Murata. He's 40 years old, and he's never fought at 168 in any major recent fights. So again, why would he, Canelo, let's say he knocks out Bevo or whatever happens there, and then he wants to defend his title. Why would it be against Triple G instead of David Benavidez Lemieux winner, your eliminator? But just watch. This is how boxing works. And these are the politics. And then Canelo has the audacity to say like, oh, Andre, who is he fought? You fight with nobody. And who is who is Benavidez and Charlo fought? They're trying to fight you. You're the man with belts. They want to fight you. But Clearly, they can't, so they have to move on with their career and do other things. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Hit them up. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation Fives adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, Gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.